Australian avocados are amazingly flavoursome. They're creamy, they're delicious. And maybe that is just because of the land that we grow them in. It's the sunshine, it's the soil, it's the passion of the farmers. It's the fact that we really care about the consumer and how they view and how they eat our avocados. My family's been in Pemberton since 1923, so we're going on a century next year on the same farm. Culmination of generations, I think, is what makes it a source of pride. I think I like farming because nothing stays the same. I love being connected to the land, having the next generation there as well, passing that sort of stuff down, really, I get a kick out of that too. When you're in products 52 weeks, yeah, that's very attractive to a customer who's servicing their customer. They want consistency, they want quality, and they want it in usually a large scale, pretty much all year round. With regards to the region, the avocado you bought yesterday is going to be what you buy tomorrow. It's the same size, it's the same shape, it's the same shelf life, the same eating qualities. That's consistency. Quality comes back right from setting up the orchards, doing the right things, making sure the drainage, making sure the irrigation, making sure all the automation's right, getting good quality rootstocks, trees, and then monitoring all that as it goes through, whether it's water, fertiliser, the pruning. It's all about monitoring and making sure that we're doing things at the right time. And then it's coming back through the pack shed. You've got your grading machine that can monitor that fruit. They take about 30 odd photos of every piece of fruit. You can get consistency of automated with that computerised grading system. Quality is everything, really. If you know you're going to have a product sitting in a container for X period of time, you need to make sure that's going to last. And there's certain agronomic practices that will make that fruit last. Growing, agronomics, number one. Packing cold chain is extremely important, number two. Time and transit's number three. So if you get those three right, you will land a product that's grown well, kept at a stable temperature, packed to the specification the customer wants every week. Surprise you to know the difference that just putting mulch under your trees actually does. Just stops evaporation, keeps the roots cool. Creating a, a microclimate under your trees, feeding your microbes, you're having to water less frequently, your trees are becoming less stressed, you're producing a better end product and you have a healthier tree. I'll do everything that I can to farm sustainably. Solar panels, all our packaging is um, recyclable. When we prune, we have forestry mulches, so we are returning the prunings back to the soil. Water use is a big one. For at least 20 years, there's been good tools to say what's going on in the soil, what's going on in the air. But now we're actually able to start measuring what's going on in the plant themselves. So now we can see like a, a really complete picture of, of what's happening in soil, tree and the air to make sure that we're using water efficiently. Water is a big part of farming, so we need to look after that resource. I'm doing the best that I can for the environment. For the last five years, we've put in hundreds of hectares of trees. We've got land available and ready to go into trees, and we've got young trees that are coming on. In a few years, their production will double. The scale is going up all the time. The industry in NWA is definitely maturing, but now there's a lot of focus on export, and there are countries out there that want really high-quality fruit, and we're ready to supply it.